morning YouTube. I always say good morning YouTube because I tend to film in the morning but hello YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to be making some bunting. So it's how I make my bunting. There are tons of different ways you can make your bunting but I find this the easiest way for me and I think this is like the neatest way too and it's also really strong and durable. So if you want to see how I make my bunting then keep watching. The guys over at Guinea's absolutely spoiled me um, by sending me some shabby chic fabric which I cannot wait to make stuff out of. So I used two of the fabrics um, to make my bunting today. Um, I'll link them below and I will include them in my blog post as well and I'll link to where I got all the fabrics because all this fabric is roughly like €9.50 Euro per yard and um, so it's really good value. I will also have a blog post too. Um, if my video doesn't make sense and you want more pictures, um, I will write it in a blog post which I'll link below in the description box. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a little cheeky subscribe um, if you want to see more videos. So I have just made a triangle template. I hope you can see it, but it's perfectly symmetrical. So if you fold it in half, I'm not doing a good job of folding, <laughs> but it is perfectly symmetrical. This is going to be my triangle template that I'm going to use now to cut my fabric out. I'm going to be using a rotary cutter, um, but don't worry, you can use a fabric scissors if you don't have one of these cutters. So this is the rotary cutter I'm going to be using. As you can see, mine is well used. Um, this is actually one of the, I don't even know if you can still get them, but my table mat and um, rotary cutter set is actually a Laura Ashley set, but I don't know if they are still available in the shops. Um, if they are, I will link it below in the description box. your triangles cut. I'm sorry Blondie's trying to help. This is what happens when you sew with a cat. <laughs> Once you have all your triangles cut, um, I'm going to just iron mine again, make sure they're all smooth before I sew. But you put your right sides, so your printed sides, facing each other. So the right sides are facing each other. We're going to sew all the way down here and all the way up here. Don't do what I do and don't sew here because we're then going to turn the fabric inside out or right side in. You know what I mean. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I'm not very good at explaining that. You can pop some pins in as well to keep it nice and steady while you're sewing. Basically we're going to start here, go down, then we're going to go up, leave a gap here because we're going to turn it right side out. Then we're going to iron them flat and we're going to do it with all of our flags. inside out but I've just snipped the tip off um, while I turn them out so I can get a perfect triangle shape when I turn it inside out. So I've just turned this one right side out and then what we're going to do is we're going to iron them so they are perfectly flat and a little tip is I have one of these I don't know what they're called I just call it a little pokey tail <laughs> um, so when you turn it inside out if you are struggling to get a perfect little point, I just gently push the fabric into a little point. But when you iron it nice and flat, um, it will look like a proper little flag then. So 
So to put all my flags together, I am going to be using some cream bias binding. So you can make your own, but I find it easier to just buy it in the shop. You can buy it per meter or per quarter. So this is one that hasn't been ironed. So you basically fold it over, you iron it, and then our flags are gonna go in here. Here's an example of it ironed. And then we just slot our little flag our little flag is going to basically go in here. Again, I'm doing this one-handed, my camera is in my other hand, um, but you'll see what I mean when I have it all pinned together and ironed. So I've just popped it under there, so you can place it, then we're gonna pin it in, and then you're gonna measure them out evenly, um, so they have the same gap in between, and then we're gonna sew along this bias, and we are nearly finished then. So here is, this is the problem with bunting. Cats like to blondie. I'm trying to film it. No, blondie. <laughs> Will you leave it for two minutes so I can film this? Then you can have it. Leave it. Okay. So as you can see, I just stitched all the way along. My stitches are not perfect, but it doesn't really matter. Um, because when it's hanging up, you won't see all of the stitches. I'm going to hang it up now. I think I'll hang it on the fireplace to give you a proper little look at it. Um, but like you can see, you can't see the bad stitches from a distance. I did try and stitch as straight as I could. But that's the fun when you make something for your house. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this is all the little flags and I try to space them out evenly. You don't have to leave that much of a gap between your flags. Some people like to have their flags right next to each other. I just like to space mine out a bit. And Blondie's still trying to play with it. Mm -hmm. 